Hey y'all, I am Luna Ray Star, the gorgeous oracle, and I'm here to do your divine feminine reading. Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? Can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? Um, my book, 12 Ways to Heal from the Narcissist from a Surviving Empath, is now available on Amazon, Lulu, and Kindle. Thank you all for the love and support I received for my channel. Thank you so much. I will resume on live. I can live maybe later on this week. So let's jump into it. Spirit, what messages do you have for Divine Feminine? Spirit, what messages do you have for Divine Feminine? Spirit, what messages do you have for Divine Feminine? Spirit, what messages do you have for Divine Feminine? <clears throat> Divine Feminine. I have the Ten of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Something could be a burden for you. Something could be hard. I heard maintaining. Maybe uh, maintaining a home or maybe the maintenance of or the upkeeping of your home. Or it, it's something in your life, Divine Feminine, that you feel like... Um, it's a burden or maybe you're struggling with. Somebody could be struggling with an addiction. Somebody could maybe be struggling with... Maybe somebody smoke or drink or maybe food. Some type of addiction that I heard. So, Divine Feminine, this is some tea. It's not you struggling. I feel like this, this could be a Divine Masculine or <laughs> a, a masculine person. Somebody is uh, struggling. Somebody could be struggling with purchasing a home, buying a home. Somebody could be struggling with purchasing land. Somebody want to buy land or purchase land. I feel like this is a male Divine Feminine. I heard landscaping. Somebody could be uh, struggling with landscaping or blueprint of a design or something. Somebody could have military background. Somebody could have, uh, I heard military intelligence. I just heard, somebody could work for the FBI, CIA. So many ancestors could have been in the military the military. This some more tea. Somebody, um, I feel like this is a divine masculine or masculine divine feminine. Somebody in their family, maybe their family or ancestors. I feel like this man was successful. I heard past a torch. Whoever this man is, they have like military training, military background, or some type of uh, FBI, CIA intelligence or something. This man, they could have passed on, or th this person could still be living, but they passed the torch to your person of interest, Divine Feminine. So it's like now, it's your person of interest. I heard to, it, it's somebody time to show up now. Some more tea, whoever this masculine person is, they don't have time to be playing games anymore. Because somebody's following, this could be somebody's grandfather. 
somebody is trying to follow their grandfather's footsteps or legacy. I heard restructure. Somebody could be trying to restructure or rebuild a family system or maybe literally rebuild a home or something. But the T is that whoever this male is, divine feminine, they like, damn, how did my father or grandfather do this? Or great-great-grandfather, how did they do this? This shit is hard. This some more tea. Somebody could have their own business, Divine Feminine. Or somebody could be trying to um, be an entrepreneur, but they, they like, damn, this shit is hard. But the tea is that whatever this masculine person or Divine Masculine person is doing, they it, I heard this information was passed down to them from their family. Their uh, their um maybe family legacy or something. Somebody grandfather or father seen a picture of you divine feminine, and how the grandfather, father, or uncle feel. They feel like yes, yes, son, yeah, grandson. This some more to somebody grandfather call their grandson son. They didn't like call them by. This my grandson. They they called them son. This some more tea. Somebody could have actually called their grandfather father. Somebody, okay. Whoever this, because I'm picking up a masculine divine feminine. Whoever this masculine person is, they called their grandparents mother and grandmother. I mean, mother, mother and daddy. They called their grandfather, or they looked at their grandparents as um as their parents that's some more tea whoever your person is divine feminine they have more respect for their grandparents i heard because they stayed together somebody grandparents stayed together for decades like for a long ass time and how your person feel divine feminine they they just have more respect for their grandparents and it's like now Yo, person, divine feminine, they trying to be like their grandparents, especially the grandfather, aka their father, because they look at their grandparents as their parents, if that makes any sense. Yeah, divine feminine, whoever this male is, they've been building, they've been working. I heard even though it may not seem like this person been working, but they've been working real hard. Somebody been working real hard to um I heard to like get their money up or somebody could be trying to buy property, buy property, land. Somebody could be trying to get into real estate. Somebody could be trying to flip houses and stuff. Somebody could be trying somebody um could be buying like old rundown, maybe um, buildings or houses, or I, I heard a duplex or a complex or something. And they they gonna remodel remodel these properties and like sell them. But I feel like this shit is hard. I heard contractors trying to get contractors or something is a burden. For your person of interest. On your person of interest, divine feminine. Justice. Yeah, somebody ancestor or somebody family has um has like military background or maybe like law enforcement. It runs in your family. Um what could run in your family, divine feminine? If you had a person that worked for law enforcement or a, a, a ancestor or family members that was in the, I heard the army, the navy, a general, an officer. But the T is that divine feminine, I feel like your person is trying to be these things as well. Divine Feminine, whoever this male is, they trying to pre prepare themselves for y'all future. Divine Feminine, um, one group of y'all, if y'all don't have children, 
you gonna have children with this masculine person, divine masculine, masculine person. You gonna have kids with with this person. Your first child gonna be a boy. This if y'all don't have children already. And then divine feminine, if you do have children already, somebody gonna end up uh, being like an older mom. Like once when you thought you was done having kids. Like divine feminine, if you already have kids, you going somebody gonna end up getting pregnant again. And your newborn and the children you have now, I heard twenty years apart. They're gonna be twenty years apart. Somebody gonna be an old mother, an older mom. Somebody may even conceive in their forties. Somebody may even have their first child in their 40s. Or somebody's just going to have another child in their 40s. It's something like that, Divine Feminine. Another message I'm getting, the reason why it's a burden on your person of interest it's a burden so they um they understand what hard work looks like somebody thought this was going to be an easy process maybe to um make money or buy different properties i heard invest into different properties or to be a somebody's like an investor somebody invest their money into maybe people businesses and stuff but i feel like this is a burden because sometimes they don't even get their money back. But with this ten of wands, with the justice, it was meant for this person uh, to experience hardships. Another message I'm getting, whoever this masculine person is, I feel like throughout their life, somebody was like handicapped or their grandparents treated them like a baby. Like baby fired them and stuff. So now... With the, the Ten of Wands and the Justice card out here, now this person, I heard now they in the real world to where their grandparents can't baby fight them no more. So now somebody is experiencing like, damn, this shit is hard. Like, you know, this is what my grandparents went through or this what what they experienced or something like that. Yeah, Divine Feminine, um, just some more tea. If you single, you may end up becoming pregnant. You gonna, it's something about you having a baby. You're going to end up having a baby if you're single. Or you could be already expecting. Somebody's a, um, a single mother. Or divine feminine, if you're single right now, you're gonna end up being like a um well if you're if you're pregnant, somebody could have okay, divine feminine, if you're pregnant, you could have went through your pregnancy alone and by yourself. Somebody grandfather or I mean, it could have been a grandmother. Somebody wanted to be a judge or somebody could have been a judge. Or somebody could have worked in a courtroom or something. Somebody, but I'm picking up, it's in, it's in y'all family. Like somebody could have been a lawyer, a judge. I heard a secretary. Somebody could have been a secretary. Police department. Somebody could have been having issues with conceiving a child. If it's been difficult for you, I heard get a surrogate. Somebody should uh, consider getting a surrogate. Um, if you've been having issues um, becoming pregnant... I feel like it's gonna I feel like you're gonna get pregnant. Well, one group of y'all consider getting a surrogate, and then another group of y'all, um, on y'all seventh, 
maybe the sixth or the seventh try. I heard don't give up. No matter divine feminine, if if something seems like a burden or if something seems hard, do not give up. Cause you're gonna reap the the fruits of your labor or you wanna see you're gonna see some results. You're going to see whatever this situation is. You're going to finally see results. Somebody could like sunflowers. Somebody eats sunflower seeds or they like sunflower seeds. Maybe your child or children, they like sunflower seeds or whoever gonna have a baby, your child, they gonna love them some sunflower seeds. Somebody gonna end up having a child, like Divine Feminine, say if you're dark skin, like say if you and your person, y'all both dark skin, y'all gonna have a child that's light skin. <laughs> it's something like that. Or Divine Feminine, like say if you and your person, y'all both, I heard fair skinned, fair toned or white, or like maybe another ethnic group or something. Y'all gonna, I'm gonna say light skin. If you're light skin, you and your person, y'all gonna have a like a dark skin baby. But both of y'all are light skinned. But the T is that it, it's it's in y'all family though. Somebody could have Creole in their family. Their lineage, Creole, French, European. Somebody may end up having twins as well. So this some words. Somebody may have a stillborn. Somebody may give birth and the baby may not um, make it. I have that out here as well. Somebody or somebody may um, experience a miscarriage. Some, something about the heart wasn't beating or something something is not developing all the way like it should for your child. Somebody may have to um, have like an emergency uh, C-section or something. Something about the uh, the cord wrapped around the child's neck, or it, it's gonna be some weird shit like that. I have that out here as well. Spirit, give me additional messages for this divine feminine reading. Spirit, give me additional messages for this divine feminine reading. Spirit, give me additional messages for this divine feminine reading. So one car flew out, one, two, three, four, five. Somebody may have like a difficult pregnancy. Courtship. And prison. Yeah, somebody could have been a lawyer. Or somebody could have been like a prosecutor. Yeah, I got the imprisonment courthouse. Somebody could have worked at a courthouse. Yeah, picked up like a judge, lawyer, prosecutor. That runs in y'all family. Yeah, somebody could be traveling for work as well. 
But divine feminine, I don't think this is you. I think it's this male that I'm picking up on. Yeah, divine feminine, if you're single, I thought like you want to get it into a relationship. Something gonna happen to you within the next four weeks, four months, or four years. Somebody could have been married or somebody could have had like four relationships in their whole life or somebody could have been married a good four times. This is a more tea. Divine Feminine, if you're single, it's like four different men that are in relationships already. They all want you. They all got eyes for you, Divine Feminine. And these men are already in some type of relationship. Another message I'm getting, um, so this could be a karmic. When I was picking up baby complications and difficult pregnancies, stillbirths and um, miscarriages, with this main male in the sun, I, I feel like um uh, some karma's gonna have some some miscarriages and stuff. Cause really and truly they ain't had no business um trying to conceive with your divine masculine or a masculine person. That's why these people are gonna have uh diff difficulties uh getting pregnant or something. Yeah, these the karmics are the ones that's gonna experience stillbirths, miscarriages, the child brain and heart not developing all the way, complications. It's gonna be these karmics. I heard eight different attempts. A karma could have tried eight different attempts to get pregnant by your person of interest, divine feminine. Somebody could have actually had a miscarriage already by a divine masculine. But the reason why they had this these miscarriages and stuff, because really they not supposed to. I heard longer than expected. So more to a divine masculine stayed in these karmic relationships way longer than um really they ain't had no business staying with these karmics for as long as they did. And it's like these masculines are leading these. This is a more team. It's really not the karmic's fault. Like if she's trying to conceive or trying to have a family or trying to like be with a divine masculine because the divine masculine or a karmic masculine, they still be leading these karmics on. So how they, so how the karmics feel, well, if we've been together for three plus years, two plus years, it, it seems like we have something serious. So, you know, let's start, let, let's expand our family. Let's, let's start having kids together. Let's have more kids together. So it's like I don't blame these karmics for, you know, for feeling like, you know, this is my family. This is my man. So let's work on, let's work on expanding our families. I don't blame them because I feel like these divine masculines are staying in these relationships way longer than expected. But yeah, that's all I have for y'all reading Divine Feminine. I know it was kind of weird. Your energy was barely in it at all, but whatever. But thank you. Bye-bye.